Good morning everyone and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. Today we will begin with global as well as flows from the domestic markets. On the domestic front, RBI MPC has kept the repo rate unchanged the, to absorb surplus liquidity generated by various factors including return of 2000 rupees note to the banking system. RBI has asked banks to maintain an incremental cash reserve ratio of 10% on the increase in their deposits between May 19 and July 28. US core inflation rose 0.2% in July for a second month, the smallest back-to-back gains in more than two years. Reinforcing speculation, the Fed can hold off on more hikes for now. Core consumer prices eased year on year to 4.7 percent while headline CPI rose to 3.2 percent as compared to the expectations of 3.3 percent. However, US stocks ended where they began with the S&P 500 erasing all of a 1.3 percent advances. The gift nifty is down nearly 50 points. China and related markets are trading down. Nikkei is shut today. Now if we go through with the flows and with the uh, overall global trend, if we see our markets then nifty failed to surpass the levels of 19,650. Again it back to 19,500. It was the range bound sort of session. We are expecting market to recover from the lower levels 19,400 should act as major and final support for the market below that only we can expect some weakness and that's the reason the strategy should be to look for adding long positions between 19,525 and 19,475 keep a stop loss at 19,400 Again, we can expect 19,600 or 650 on the higher side, but the real trend will emerge if it crosses the levels of 19,650 levels. For the bank nifty, there we are expecting further more weakness if it breaks the levels of 44,500 and in that case, the chances of hitting 44,100 or 200 will turn bright. On the higher side, 44,750 and 950 would be the resistance level for the bank nifty. We are expecting mixed activity in the bank nifty. For the nifty IT index, uh, it is consolidating between the range of 31,000 and 30,500 and the real buying will emerge if it crosses the levels of 31,000. So we need to be more and more selective. But at the same time, all these IT companies are outperforming as compared to the performance of other indices. Uh, metals and minings should do well based on their overall formations and we should also look for adding some pharma companies if there is correction in the market that's all from my side with this i'm ending today's morning podcast thank you very much for listening me have a great day and nice weekend to all of you